Hello. This is Hi. our hotel. Hey, Dylan. Didn't see you there. I didn't see you there either. You know, this is our hotel that we got switched to. It's a nice TV. Yeah, I'm uh, aware of that. <clears throat> I was there. And a uh, table. Fridge doesn't work. And they never do. Here I am. Hello, everyone. Dude, we've been here for two days. Why are you telling me this? And then a uh, closet thing. Just want to do a quick review. Very quick. Here's the restroom. And then uh, you got the same, you know, you got a bucket and the little thing you sit on or whatever. And they actually gave us soap and shampoo. And the toilet doesn't totally suck. And there's a mirror. And yep, Dylan's yelling something. And um, although this looks like a one bed, it's actually a two bed. So there you go. And AC works all the time. Most of the time, and there's a fan. Also, it's a nice system where, like, if there's a power, power outage, half of the shit turns off and the other half is still on, or it's vice versa. That's cool. And then you have a little patio area right here. Oh, patio? Anyway, you got two little I plants that are dying. And it looks like it's gonna rain. Hi, right. there you go. There this you is a much know. nicer place, much nicer place. Thank you, everybody, bye. Things. Say bye, Dylan. Why are you telling me you're talking about me in the third person? Bye. I'm a second person. So, so Dylan said we should go out and eat. I stand by my word. <laughs> and it's raining. This thing might break. I didn't I didn't read the case for it. I should have. Oh well. I, mean, I haven't been out here, what, five minutes? And I am drenched. I decided to put my uh, shirt in a bag. Because then I could still put it on and be dry. Well, I don't want to look like a hoser, so I didn't do that. Uh, Not to say you look like a hoser. Do. It, feels, it feels good though. It stopped. It stopped. So after walking a long ways, we finally decided that we we're gonna eat about two feet away from our restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say we not eat at like the main road, but then again, um, not many roads to eat. You always go down. Yeah. Not really much there, though. That's true. Alright, so that's this guy. Hey, what's your name? Sorry? What's your name? My name is Bobby. Bobby? Yeah. Okay. Well, recording now. And he... We met this guy, Bobby. He's giving us a lift on his motorcycle. It's pretty cool. Did you rent this? Yeah. That's cool. You know, drive. Oh, I thought I dropped something. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Huh. Let's see. Got that steps. Hey. 
Yes, I wait. Hand signals. You can all be a setup. You know, just punch you back. Yeah. Then again, um, he is. Okay, just stop recording. I said it once. Now it's recording. Then how we see our recording before? There's a little red dot right there. Or if it's flashing. Yeah. Here's a restaurant. We get to sit down stuff. Dylan's sitting down like his Japanese ways. Oh, it's always. I'm actually pretty um. I'm fairly impressed you you are comfortable in that style. Right, he's sitting in his ways and I'm I'm sitting in my way. Normal. And it's pretty chill. We got nice nice music here. Shoo. That's it. We ordered and we're gonna wait for our food, which is like a sauce and then rice and some roti. Roti. Alright, so we got some Malai kofta and some plain rice as well as uh, two butter roti and this is good. That's very good. It's very good. Um, our friend here left us, but if you'd like to explain what happened to her, uh, I think no. you, could, you could explain a little better than I could. Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. Sorry, there's someone somebody behind you. So the guy, uh, you saw him, he picked up the motorcycle, like he made some small talk for a second, and he was like, uh... Sorry, this is good, I have to go by. <laughs> Way to sell the restaurant. <laughs> Which the restaurant is, um, Tools Cafe. Little tree on it. So he was like, uh, hey, you know, me and my uncle have this business. Uh, we need your passport, we need all this. You get, you ship something from Delhi and you take it back to the States, and then you find the buyer, and then you make about three or four grand off it. Seems like a lot. Yeah. That was way too much. And that's, um, a, that's a common scam, though. Not only that, he could get your like, credit card information, and before you know it, you get home and you're you're down a few exactly. whatever money you need or whatever. And At some point, ideally, he, he would scam you into saying, hey, you just gotta put a little bit of money down for the item. Which, that's when they get you. Yeah, but um, other than that, we just said no thank you, and I personally just didn't, didn't want to do it and said I would mess it up somewhere. That's what I said. Yeah, even if it was legit, even if it was legit, way too complicated, way too much work. I mean, it was, it was pretty complicated, and I would mess it up somewhere. But uh, other than that, he gave us a ride and showed us a good restaurant and pretty good food. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. What? Yeah. You say again? But yeah.